Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. Yesterday, you might remember that uh, I, I I remembered that LeBlanc and Newt were in a relationship, and I said, boy, I should build them a double bed, and then I completely forgot to do it. So thank you for the reminders on that one as well. So many, many, many of you pointed out over Discord, YouTube, everywhere, that when you take these quests, it'll build a blueprint for you, and we just have to basically finish it off, right? We have to deliver the resources, build the whole thing, but they'll lay out everything we need in order. So I don't have to be creative with this, which is absolutely music to my ears. Today, I'm going to call this episode The Upgrade Project because we have a lot of things to do. We have a lot of new people. Specifically, I want to upgrade our weaponry because right now it's kind of tragic. We're still using very crappy pistols here. We we've got obviously an auto pistol there. We've got a machine pistol there. LMGs, as great as they are, as good stopping power as they are, are not accurate in the least, and we can't rely on them for much future. So... Let's get all of this stuff swapped out for chain shotguns. Everybody's got a flak jacket, so at least we got that going for us. Um, we did start to make some flak pants and some flak vests too, but the shotguns now take top priority. So, making components that actually might be relevant. Can I make flak helmets? What are we missing for the shotguns then? I believe it's steel. Um, 70 steel, 5 components. Do we have any steel left? Uh, n no. Uh, we almost certainly do not. Oh my god, we're actually completely out of steel. Luckily, we've got a lot of steel slag that we can smelt, so that should hopefully, uh, help deal with that. There's also a big steel vein over here, which we could obviously go and grab as well. Let's do that. Let's go and vein mine. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we can vein mine all of that out, and it actually won't open up the mountain. We could just build some more walls and solidify that again to obviously stop sappers. That's very, very useful. Now, yesterday I actually did this, but I didn't point it out. I built some doors into our into our little kill box area that we've started to work on here so that we can pass out doors much, much quicker. Oh my god, we still got to do with this bloody mechanoids, haven't we? How could I forget? Honestly, I'm kind of happy just to leave them there until the next raid turns up. And then... See, if we get like a raid over here that doesn't attack immediately, or even over here, we could sneak through into that and just wake those guys up and send them into and have the raiders fight the mechanoids. Then we can go and finish off what's left. We know that these auto-charge blaster turrets are extremely powerful. So we'll either wait for the next raid to turn up and then try and trigger it if it's safe to do so, or we'll wait until we've got our charge shot uh charge shotguns, until we've got our chain shotguns, our armor, our helmets, everything that we would need to try and avoid any casualties surrounding this. Actually, for the time being, let's just start on that side. There is a heat stroke as well, so I want them to be able to run home quickly and get into cover if that's necessary. So another thing I started to do as well, I started to build this wall over here. I don't think we've still got enough uh we've got nowhere near enough marble, have we? The downside to that is too, the thing that we've got right now, the monumental blueprint, also requires a shitload of marble. So we might just have to mine out some more of this stockpile area. That's all I've been doing to get more marble bricks, right? It's expanding our stockpile, which has the benefit of, brace yourself, expanding our stockpile. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone with this one. So I'm going to carry on with this. Um, let's try and not cave the roof in on our head. So I'll go ahead and cancel that one too. There we are. That should keep us going for a while. Um, and the roof is held up by either side. I'm just being a bit more careful, especially when we open it from here to here. I think some of these central blocks might fall at that stage. So I think go mine that out as two. Maybe we should prioritize the... Oh. Oh, it's two boom labs. Well, they should be fine. We've, we've got doctors prioritizing that. Um, maybe we should finish the steel first. I don't know, because the quest is going to expire soon, isn't it? One day. Uh, 1.2 days. So we'll get as much marble as possible. We'll finish off this bedroom, because I believe we do need that. Oh, the barnet replacement's done. Nice work. So I removed the research tree mod as well at the request of some of you guys yesterday, because apparently the new research tree mod, even though it's updated for 1.1, doesn't support the new technology yet, so you can research without having the tech prints. So let's go for this one, seeing as we basically paid a bloody fortune for it yesterday. Aurora as well is quite nice for the mood management here. Bear in mind we're dealing with a heat wave, which is kind of pain in the ass. All of them have heat stroke to certain degrees. None are lethal or anything like that, though. Um, right, so everyone's got a bedroom now, yeah? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's everybody. Let me just quickly go through. Uh, yeah, that is absolutely everyone. Nice work. Okay, I was building another emergency bedroom here, but we can kind of put that on hold until we've got this monument dealt with. Because obviously that will use it more marble blocks. I know it's not a huge amount, it'll be something like 70 marble. But we might as well get this quest done, especially as it expires in 20 hours. Should we just accept it now? How long have we got to do it in? Must be complete within 10 days. We can focus on that for 10 days. So do we want to accept it with Jacob, or do we want to go for Omega again? Because that way we could potentially have our two... Remember, we, we're trying to get those two royal aid. So that would kind of be more useful. I think let's go for that guy. And they have dropped off a monument marker. Okay, jump to location. Where do, where do we want to put that? Oh, we have to install it somewhere. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Um, That's a really nice system. Let's put it over here, but we will have to dig... Oh, it fits actually... Look at that. It fits perfectly there. Boom. Do it. Monument markers can't be placed adjacent to any building. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, it means, I guess, the cave walls. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been perfect there. Um, we can't drop it here. I want it somewhere where it's not going to get attacked very easy. That's why I was thinking back here would make a lot of sense. 
I might just go and mine that area out then. Let me take a screenshot of that so I know what to mine out. And we'll just take the edges off. See if it'll fit there then. Okay, so we want to remove these two blocks here. These three over here. And then the two adjacent to the L section. So this one and this one. Um, and we also need to take the corner off of there as well. I think that's it. That is it. Okay, so we'll take those away and we'll see if that's enough to uh, add on to that. What I'll do then is I'll go ahead and I'll cancel the steel designation for the timing. We got plenty of steel slag to smelt, so if we've got anything urgent that needs finishing, like the coolers or whatever, that can immediately be pumped into that instead. Um, yeah, that's fine. I really wish I hadn't built half this bedroom now because it's kind of a pain. So we've got a lot of resources that we've just sunk into that and it's it's future proofing. Let's look at it that way. Hey, we're going to get another recruit eventually. Let's just roll with that. So hopefully when they've taken this away, I'll get them to prioritize working on this as well. Building marble tile blueprint. Where, the, where are you building marble tiles, friend? Oh, was there one more left in here to finish off? That's insane. What rank is this available for now? Baroness. Oh, okay, cool. Previous title. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Appropriate title, Baroness. Oh, wait. So prior to was the one we were going to try and get. And then next title satisfied is Countess. Bear in mind that Countess is the highest one you can get. Oh, shit. That's really cool. Oh, my meat. Oh, god damn. Um, God, this heat wave is killing us. Wow. I thought three coolers would be enough. Maybe we should top that off. Have we got any spare wood just to uh, turn back on the... We do. Let's turn on the passive cooler, see if that's just enough. Obviously, we haven't got the steel right now to to be doing anything else there. Who's closest? Yoko, come and refuel these for me. Let's see if that at least gets the heater back to a decent temperature. Uh, the cooler, I should say. Well, it is a heater right now. Uh, no, that's still not refrigerated levels. Oh, it's getting there. Oh, the heat wave's over. <sighs> what a huge son of a bitch game. So one of the flak helmets, Don LeBlanc now has a flak helmet. We've got a few more marble bricks coming in. They're very nice. Obviously, we've got a lot to do with this. We need to just really focus on this one now. Um... It doesn't really matter which order we do it in, whether or not we mine that out. I mean, we can place this realistically anywhere, so this shouldn't be highest priority, because if we, we don't have the blocks to build it either way. So we might as well focus on getting some marble to start with. We've also uncovered some components there too, so that works out really, really well. Is there any other marble? I don't believe there's any more marble chunks on the map. Oh, God. I thought that was a raid then. I don't think there's any more marble chunks on the map. I think we've got it all. There's a lot of steel slag, though, which is fantastic. Obviously, we've got like uranium as well. Just be careful coming over here. Um... Yeah, no, we've picked up every marble chunk on the map and turned it into blocks. So we've, we can only mine now to finish off this monument. Unless we get a trader or something like that. That would also help out quite a lot. Clear's infestation. Okay. 20 year old, a 28-year-old Imperial priest named Clear is calling from nearby. Giant insects are hunting her. If you accept Clear... If you accept Clear, a nine... What? If you, oh, if you accept Claire right into your colony, got it. I thought the quest was called that for a second. A nine hive infestation will begin in three days. Um, the Sotra and Threat Pheromones expires in... I mean, that would give us opinion, I guess, with... Will that give us opinion with the... With the Green Empire, but probably not favor? It says two friends to offer more information, so I, maybe it might even have random rewards. Oh, I almost want to take that. But insects could spawn in... I guess they could spawn in anywhere at that stage. Might be an edge of the map thing. Or might be over here. Might be actually the worst case scenario would, of course, be within our cave. Maybe I should block this over and then we'll talk about maybe accepting that. Oh, okay. That was not expected either. Uh, let's go ahead and just get those blocks back. Of course, they did the traditional remote thing of let's block ourselves in there. Uh, and then I had to release them again. That's quite annoying. Abbey over the pond is the tribe. So there should be... Ooh. Are they going to... Are they going to set off the mechanoids? Hang on. Where's the proximity sensor? That's not a proximity sensor. Um, it's a real shame we can't do something to wake up this hive now. The mortar shell is really stopping you abusing that mechanic of, of sort of making your enemies fight one another. Let's get into positions. I need to make see if defensive positions is updated. For God's sake, every episode I do this. So it's the same positions as well. Right, here they come. The rocks are slowing them down fantastically. This guy's mining his way through, but it's not going to make any difference. God, guys are obviously already in there. Let's get you down to here. That should give him enough cover. And then let's move you up. Oh, we are going to shred them. This is going to be fantastic. Look at this go. Wow. This is... I almost feel bad for them in a way. Holy shit. And then, of course, the bowmen aren't going to affect us at all, which is fantastic. Yeah, good luck. Fantastic. Oh, I mean, this is this is a victory right here. What a, what a nice raid the game has given us to start with. A nice, easy raid so that we can focus on getting our blueprints done. They're already fleeing. Absolutely fantastic. Here comes the second wave. They're using sappers to try and break through. It will make no difference. It will make absolute... There's their leader right there getting absolutely savaged by this just array of... The LMG lineup is, is actually really, really holding this down. Because they've got such good armor penetration as well. Such good stopping power. Yoko, did you actually seriously take damage from this? <sighs> it's Why is it always Yoko? It's always Yoko. To be fair, Yoko is the only one not in cover. So, alright, fair enough. I'll allow it. But 
Unreal. It's always fucking Yoko. Every time. Oh, God, our poor kill box. We've shredded our own kill box with that. I guess the chain shotguns will only do more damage. Right, let's skip over this. I think we can safely... Let's, let's just get this done. Boom. Nice work, team. A good massacre. 200 marble blocks in. Very nice. How long has the quest got again? Um... Oh, well, the infestation. I, I really don't care. It wasn't a good summon with the raid as well. Um... What do we, and how, what do we get for that? Eight Royal Favourites. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and then, of course, we've got to protect it for 10 days, which should be relatively easy. Because to get to the monument, they're going to have to get through our base. And if they get through our base, that's already a game over anyway. So we wouldn't really care about the, the mech clusters or whatever else. What if someone goes berserk and punches it? I didn't consider that. What if our people could go on a tantrum or something and end up breaking it? Right, let's get it planned out. Then we might as well start delivering the blocks, start working on it while other people stone cut, etc. And then install and... B boom. Where, where was I supposed to put this? Was it there? I've clearly missed two blocks there, genius. All right, let's get rid of that one. Get rid of that one as well. Rib, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Rib, but this is this is kind of important now. I shouldn't have accepted this quest. This was silly. We're, no, we're nowhere near prepared. Although we're probably going to pull it off. It's fine. Um, What are you talking about? Directly adjacent to any building? What? Directly adjacent to any building? What, because of that? Okay. Uh, Directly adjacent to any building. I don't know what you mean by that, Chief. It's not adjacent to anything now. Ah, there we are. It was that block. That's so silly. How do we make those? Marble Grand... Oh, do we just deliver the resources, perhaps? Maybe we just deliver the resources and they'll do it. Okay, uh, so say, for example, we right-click and then... Nothing. Uh... Oh, that's how you do it. Got it. Okay, so two of those and then two of those. Sandstone... Oh, this is a really clever system. This is actually genuinely quite cool. Um, right, so if we do... Oh, God, I've got the... Uh, the Dragon Ball Corners mod is updated, by the way. In this situation, it's obviously not fantastically useful. Right, let's go like that. And is that... I don't, hopefully, I haven't missed anything. I don't think I've missed anything, anyway. And then we'll do that one. Thank you very much. And then Marble Flagstone. Oh, they disappear when you've got everything out. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, how am I supposed to know what is sandstone tiles or not? Ah, shit. Uh, how am I supposed to know? Am I... Do I guess? Maybe we just guess. What? I don't get it. Uh. Will they just build it, though, if I plan it out like that? God damn it. How am I supposed to know? Um. Marble flagstone, 32. Sandstone wall. Sandstone tile, 90. Okay. But how am I supposed to know, though? So we'll do that. And then I guess I've got to fucking, like, cancel them. And then if it comes back up with sandstone tiles, I know I've... This is horrible. Uh. Can someone explain this to me? We'll require these resources. Maybe you just have to put them anywhere. Maybe, maybe just anywhere will work, right? So it needs 90 of those. So that's 19. Uh, double 19 is like 38. Uh, I'm not doing the math. That's ridiculous. 90, wait, 90 sandstone tiles. That's going to be quite a tight fit. I hope this works. Will that work? We good? Still wants more sandstone tiles. That's definitely 90 sandstone tiles, though. Fuck. Uh, no sense of top 32 marble flags. I don't know what I've done wrong. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, no, this is, this is fine. How am I supposed to know the difference? How can I ascertain it? Place. Oh, fuck off. Oh, you. <laughs> there's a button. There's a button that does it. Why even let me do it? If there's a button that... Uh, for fuck's sake. Unbelievable. All right. <laughs> Mr. Streamer is so dumb. <laughs> what a... What a... I was, I was just tricking you. I was just... Uh, I was just obviously messing around there. Oh, he's so zany. Fucking stupid game. No. Ah, oh, the plague. God damn, I punched my fucking chair so hard then. Ow. <laughs> oh, God, my wrist. <laughs> um... Okay, fine. Disease, uh, it's Omega. Omega should be fine. It's self and all that. How are you looking? Go. Get to bed. Oh, actually, that's a really good treatment. 2%. 3%. Uh, no, no, no. Rest. Rest. Rest until... Actually, eat that meal. Yeah, meal's, meal's good. Eat the meal. Rest. Taking lavish meal. Rest. Perfect. We got vitals bonuses. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got hospital bed. Marks bonus. It couldn't pick a more perfect time to have built this hospital. Fantastic. Is she getting the tender effectiveness from this one, though? Um, I would like to see... Vitals monitor. Yes, 5%. It is gaining the bonus from that, despite the fact it's linked to two beds. We're good. You are going to be absolutely 100% fine, my friend. Trust me on that. He says... Uh, concerned. Okay, uh, yeah, we're like 5 6% ahead now. We're good. We also got cargo pods that I missed because I was too busy focusing on the bloody plague. Wait. Wait, they landed right there? Wait, really? What were they? 
Oh, it was Synthread. Oh, I, I completely did it without thinking about it. I was on just absolute autopilot at that stage. My god. Um, is that biocoded? It is. Oh, for fuck's sake. Should we, can we smell down these biocoded weapons first? Is this the biocoded one? It is. Let's get those smelted first, because they're kind of driving me a little bit mad here. Who's free? Newt, what are you doing? Researching. That you count as free. Let's get to work on that. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, he's out in the he's out in the wilderness though. Nothing to worry about. Okay, that is kind of something to worry about. <laughs> um, oh no, my animals. Okay, let's expand home area a little bit. Please, please deal with the fires. That's it. Everyone. Oh, oh. Okay, that was dangerous there. I saw that happening as it was developing. We're okay. He's fine. He's fine. Absolutely okay. Nothing to worry about there. Let's go ahead and clear that home area again. So I don't really care about them. Uh, don't really care about them extinguishing fires there too desperately. Oh, wait, there's a steam user right there. Did we, did we ever finish the research for that? We didn't quite. Oh, man, I, why did I not just tap into that? You absolute fool. How are our patients as well? Uh, wearing thin is the real answer. 86%, 54% plague on that one. And then loving emus. The, uh, Australians, uh, warning, the following episode may contain triggering footage. 71% and 56% on that one as well. We're good. Was it... Was it emus that the Australians went to war with? I'm pretty sure it was emus. A new quest has become available. Loving emus. View quest. This is this is the wrong channel. This is the wrong series for this. Um, Fabia Ducas, the Countess of the Green Empire, is making a request. She wants you to take para, care of her two pet emus. They've been targeted by a mechanoid swarm. Oh, God. For as long as they're present, for four days. We've got to fight mechanoids for a solid four days. She'll send four janissaries to assist you. You'll have to feed and house them. They may die without consequence. After, this sounds like an easy way to gain a lot of... How much favor do we gain? Oh, we get a psychic, psychic sensitizer and seven royal favor. That's a lot of cash that they're sending our way. I'm going to accept that. However, like I said, I would still like the flak helmets. I would still like... We've got a good couple of flak helmets going there now. I would like the guns. Those those are really the top priority, which we looks as if we are working on there too. Ah, oh, thank you. A psychic suit female followed by a deadly explosion. Oh, that's my favorite. That's my favorite combination. Appreciate that. Um, power's out, but it should start... The second these windmills start ticking up. Uh, or not. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Chief. That's fine. We'll just have to deal with the roving brownouts for a second, I guess. Um, I would really like to finish. I should have finished geothermal rather than going for... Are you eating a... Don't eat that. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are... Oh. <laughs> Turns out he was just standing on it. Um, what was I talking about before I got distracted by that damn buffalo? Oh, right, yeah, we should finish geothermal power as soon as possible, just in occasions like that. But to be honest, these wind turbines are absolutely garbage. Our base is too large now to be sustained by these, and they're taking up a lot of room. And they really don't put up... Uh, their maximum, obviously, they put up a ridiculous amount of power, but they're so rarely at their maximum. And in times like these, a steam geyser would genuinely change the game. Oh, God. I, have you got immunity? Oh, you have. Okay, that was a convenient time for those to turn off after they gained immunity, I guess. Five days, and we're basically done. Uh, we need uh, just a load more marble blocks now. That's, that's all there is to this. It's all marble, and there's a little bit of sandstone too, which I believe we've still got. Look, they're still chopping it now. This is fantastic. This will be done in no time. We've got some more cargo pods as well. Fantastic news. What have we got here? Alpaca wool. I don't want your damn alpaca wool. Are we going to risk the mechanoids for this? I think there's no proximity sensor here, is there? So this is where you probably use a rocket weapon. Get right up behind these sandbags and just give them hell. Hit them with, uh, like, like hit the drop pod, the mech, the mech drop beacon. Try and hit that with a rocket launcher, or hit your mortar shield, for example, with a rocket launcher. And then retreat as soon as possible, because there's no proximity detector this time, so I assume we can get as close as we goddamn like. I assume we can walk around in there. Ah, oh, nice. Omega can now freely use called Trooper Squad. Now, here's my concern, right? We accept the mission to look after the emus. The mechanoids drop down here, destroy this, activate the other mechanoid squads, and then we've got hell on Earth. So... Oh, God, I'm a little bit concerned. Let's get this finished first, because that should give him his level up, right? Um, oh, we still have to protect it for 13 days, I assume, before we get the... Oh, no, when we finish the construction. Okay, cool. But that's like an additional little thing to say, hey, don't fuck this up. Okay, fine. So he should be able to also call him Royal Aid at that stage. So we might be able to have a couple of get-out-of-jail-free cards stored. More cargo pods. Randy, you are too... We're not even playing on Randy, but that's that's way too generous. Oh, it's 44 plastic. Okay, never mind. I was going to say it's way too generous. It's next to nothing. It's, it's completely irrelevant. All right. How are we looking with the kill box? That's fully rebuilt as well. I completely forgot that that was also another sink of our, of our marble stuff. How are we looking with the... So the actual roof is done on it. We're just waiting on a, a load more marble bricks. Yeah, it's just a load more marble bricks. So they'll hopefully come and dig this out as we go. As the power keeps fluctuating too, they're going to have less and less to do. So they'll default to mining as well, obviously. Maybe I should up mining priority for the quest. Just put an additional point in all of it. 
And then we can drop it back down a level for the next one. I think that's a safe idea. Rivet the powerhouse. Look at all these blocks we're potentially getting our way here. My god. After this is done, I'm just going to have to up the stone cutting priority. I can't imagine we've got too many more days left, though. So I'm going to have to be a little bit careful about just blitzing through things on speed four. Um, how are we looking with the... We're still at the same sort of progress, are we? Wow, yeah. And don't forget that all the work it's going to take to actually finish that off, too. I don't know if we've still got... I don't know if there are enough chunks here to finish off the bricks. So uh, let's go ahead and finish that one. I might up stone cutting as well, then. So let's increase that one by another level as well. I've moved everyone up to just the highest tier of stone cut right now because we are going to cut this goddamn close. Because bear in mind, these things will also take a very, very long time to build as well. Um, what I might even do is put down some torches in there just so they can work slightly faster because of the darkness going on right now. Rib, let's get those done first because that will actually save us time in the long term. There we are. Okay, this is not going to be... <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh, I thought that was a raid then. I was going to say if that was a raid, we are not going to have time to finish this one off. Okay, good work, good work, good work. Um, maybe, who was our other builder there? Was it Trev? Trev, can I get you to finish off this one as well? Let's, again, let's, let's deal with the torch first. That's very good. All right. Oh, we might just pull this off. Holy shit, this is going to be close, though. Oh, no, I'm pushing him too far. Trev has extreme break risk now. You know what? Go have a day off, then. How long have we got on this quest still? Uh, oh, lo loving Emis. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, monumental blueprint, two days. And then we've got supplies for Akor as well. Um, so we can take them, what exactly? Psych focus. Oh, we have to take them 28, <laughs> 28 pairs of pants uh, worth 2,400. In return, we gain 12 royal favor. Wow. And just for 28 pants? Okay. Um, 19 days. That seems very, very, very viable. I could do that. I don't, I don't see why not. Let's get this one done first. Maybe we'll take that one, because that gives a shitload of royal favor, and it gives some useful stuff, rather than... Oh, God, I forgot to set their bloody jobs as well. Rather than take the emu one, which sounds like it's just going to spawn in more and more mechanoids. I'm kind of sick of mechanoids. I feel like this game's answer to everything now is just more and more mechanoids, which is fine. But I'm not sure if I... I'm not sure if I like how much of a... They, they are the enemy... That you're constantly upset. It's not like faction warfare. It's not like the, the diplomacy mods. It just seems to be watch out for these mechanoids. Look after some emus. Watch out for mechanoids. Build this thing, but watch out for mechanoids. It's like, I get it. They're supposed to be a big threat, but it's uh, they're just, I don't know. They're kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. Trev, 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 Trev. That's not what we need right now. New recruit Trout. Oh, Trout, welcome. Um, that was unexpected. Right. Okay. Uh, why did I recruit you? I think I was probably just keeping you around to sell off, to be honest. Uh, good at art. Okay, to be fair, there are some things we can do with that. Um, what else are you got to... Absolutely fucking nothing. Fantastic. Just what I wanted to see there. Congratulations. You're now our new hauler deliverer, etc., etc., etc. My god, this is this is horrible. Trev, we need you right now. I don't think we're going to finish this because Trev's been an ass. No. Oh, god. Stop looking at that one. 1.7 days. I mean, look at how much work is left, though. And ribs collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go and, go and sleep, for God's sake. Let's try this again tomorrow. Psyche drone is ending already. That's fantastic news, because that's really what was driving poor Trev insane. How's he doing right now? Mood is low. Uh, let's wake him up. What? Why are you doing that? Look, his recreation was low, and that was two hours of recreation. He was instead repairing power conduit. You're a strange man, and I'm not sure I like you. Let's go and get these finished, if you don't mind. Rib's already on it. Great work with Rib. They've swapped, they've swapped statues. More mechanoids. What the fuck is that? What the hell is even that? Proximity activator. Unstable power cell. Large explosion if damaged. Auto morto? No. Defoliator. Kills foliage. Fuck me. More mechanoids. Really? <sighs> Remember what I just said? I feel like mechanoids are the solution to everything. They are so aggressive with this. Counter activator, proximity activator, mech drop beacons. We have to finish this. We have to finish this. And then we'll just mortar the shit out of them. Because at least this one doesn't have a shield. We can hit that with a mortar. Try and blow the whole thing up. Um, this thing is what I'm concerned about now. The auto mortar. Because what's to stop that just shooting straight at this? And ending my life. Unbelievable. Come on. Go, go, go. I believe. I believe. Go, go, go. Never stop. We will never surrender. Boom. One down. Swap jobs. Okay, hang on. Let, let you go rest. No, no, no. I don't think, I think you misunderstand. Okay, dig up marble. Whatever. Specialized limbs are done. Hey, we got that going for us, which I guess is nice. Um, Royal Apparel probably couldn't hurt. Royal Apparel uh, Recon Armor. Oh, well, we can go for some higher tier armors. 
Maybe we should go for advanced fabrication first. Bear in mind, we can't even make advanced components. We've just gone for all these like, specialized limbs and whatnot. We can't do anything with them yet. Okay, Rib, let Rib get in some recreation. Let her increase her mood again. When Trev's about to lose his goddamn mind, swap him out. Why are my berries rotting in storage? 15 What is going on? Minus nine? Is that really not enough? Oh my god. Why is there a vent there? All right. Well. <laughs> oh, reinforcements as well. My fucking favorite. Right, everyone needs to squad. Get into position. Oh, God, this, this game. Everyone besides Rib. Rib, you come and finish this. But how long have we got on that quest, Chief? Eight hours. Eight hours to get 361 work done. It's doable, but it, I, I'm not happy about it. Right, you get there. You come around to... Uh, here. You're going to get in there and bash those little mechanoids when they come through. You move down. Uh, Trout, you don't even have a gun, so you just fuck off, to be honest. What was that? What was that? Oh my god, the mortars! Um, Trout, I have a job for you. A man of your talents. Which is to say nothing right now. Um, Let's go and... S no, no, no. High explosive. Clear all. Only high explosive. That's all I'm ever really going to use, to be honest with you. Trout, get on those guns. Get on those guns, sunshine. Let's let's wipe these fuckers up. Um, you know what? You also get on those guns for a second. Let's see what we can do. See what damage we can do before we aggro them. Right, those are good. Set false target. Kill him dead. You know what? I'm actually genuinely quite impressed. That I'm quite impressed by. Next up, deal with that goddamn auto mortar. There it is. Oh, great shot. Like, genuinely one in a million there, kid. Okay, please deal with that auto mortar. I'm not really sure I like that. How are we doing? And how are you doing, more importantly? 151? How long have we got? Five hours? She, she's gonna do it. Rib, you're gonna do it. Oh, shit. It's gonna be goddamn close, though. I also don't like the fact that we're missing out on some of our people for fighting this shit. Right. Scyther. One Scyther you guys can deal with. I believe in you. Okay. Good work. Centipedes? What have they got? Heavy charge blaster? Not a problem. Kind of is. Heavy charge blaster. Maybe centipedes only have heavy charge blasters now rather than inferno cannons. I haven't seen any yet, but to be fair, we haven't seen too many centipedes. Mortar's done with. Fantastic. Okay. What do you think about changing target now to the centipedes? Trying to lead some shots there. Uh. Be gone, thought? I don't think this will work. They might hit the one behind it. That's the important thing here. I don't think they're going to hit shit, but we can at least give it a go. Go, team. Whenever you're ready. God damn, his mortars are slow. Maybe we should build some more mortars, because they genuinely have changed the game. Right, go, go, go. That's a great place. Don't know about that one. That was a, that was a close. That was close. You were, you were close. Don't, don't knock their moods. Don't knock their moods here. They're doing a fantastic job. Is this also finished? Please. Starvation. Who's starving? Trev. Trev, I'm sorry. You're going to have to deal with it, my friend. Combat supplier. That's great. Not right now, though. Wait, did that say they're not affiliated with any faction? You can get uh, trade ships that are affiliated with factions. That's quite cool. So maybe if you trade with an Imperial trade ship. Wow. Okay, we survived the first barrage unhindered. Here comes the second one, though, which I'm not too pleased about. Focus down one at a time. Call the Royal Aid. What do you think? Should we do it? That's two centipedes and a Lancer coming in. Now, bear in mind, when we finish that other mission, we get some other Royal Aid. I'm going to do it. Fuck, I'm especially going to do it, given that we just got absolutely peppered there. Go, go, go. Please save my people. Please save them. Bosmos, you're a savior. What? Monument will be destroyed. What the fuck are you talking about? You built a disallowed building inside your... What, the torches? How dare you not appreciate my monument in pitch black darkness? How dare you even consider lighting it up for the world to enjoy? This is a monument of extreme terror. Remove those damn torches. Okay. Bosmos, you are a savior of this round. Let it be known. Let it be known. Bosmos will not be forgotten. Please, for the love of God. They, I'm really glad I called in the Royal Aid because our people are still getting absolutely peppered. But I'm actually really disappointed by how powerful these guys are. We're barely even denting them. Okay. That took way too long. Now we'll let the Royal Aid go and deal with the actual mechanoid cluster itself. Go. Please. You, can, you guys can deal with this shit. We'll keep our distance. You know what? They're actually doing a great job. I can't fault them for this. They're self-tending as well. That's the impressive stuff. Man, look at them. They're doing a really good job here. Hey, 
shout out to those guys. Also, uh, we're getting all of our rewards. We're getting all of our rewards. Is that finished then? Are we good? And he's now a... He's now what, exactly? Um, I didn't see what rank he got up to because I cleared it all off. He's still a squire. Was he not always a squire? Oh, no, he's Yeoman 4. He's the same rank as Omega now, then. Oh, cool. So he's going to want his own throne room. But apparently, if they're a married couple, we can just put down two chairs. Now, that's going to look hideous because now it's going to look completely uneven. And I'm very annoyed. <laughs> um, okay, move that there. Let me think about this one. Move that one there, and then we move this entire wall over. That way, it still will look somewhat even. It's not going to be great, but it's it's a start. This guy's going to take out that mech assembler before it assembles a friggin' scyther, though. No? <laughs> now we're just going to go home. How are you doing, by the way? Uh, everybody's tended to. Oh, God. Wait. Oh, they just went to this one as well? They've just woken up this one. Interesting. Oh, they... Wait, who are you? Dead for less than a day. They actually Zerg rushed it. They went right in there and attacked. Interesting. Well, we could call in some other royal aid, but that one's really not affecting us at all. And how is... Is everyone fine? Why are you sleeping there? Oh, that's the only bedroom we've got. Okay. Fair enough. In that case, I'll allow it. We'll go ahead and rebuild those walls now that we don't have such a, a desperate need for... For marble. <gasps> what are you... Ah, there's a scyther right there. Oh, God damn it. Okay, get back. Uh, send him in. Send him in. Go, go, go. Rescue her. Yoko. That flak vest is not going to stop. Teensy, weensy little scyther pincers. Please stop them. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's not doing too well. Um, Where am I? Where, where is my backup? Line up, line up, line up. Line up, shoot. Line up, shoot. Just get into range. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Go, get out of there. Don't shoot Yoko. She's been through enough. Go on, take him down, take him down. Level seven. Please keep shooting, never stop. Unbelievable. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Right. Um, We need to deal with this then, like right now. Let's get on the mortars. Who's not injured? Trout, mortar time. Uh, No, oh my God, we've only got regular shells. Well, shit. That's not good. Yoko, are you okay? You seem to have been slightly slashed to bits there, friend. Help. Bleeding out in three hours. Oh, God. Well, at least you shouldn't lose any limbs. More. More? Oh, give us a fucking raid or something. This is dumb. There's just too many mechanoids all the time. What the f- Don't you play your jaunty guitar tune with this shit? Credit where the game is due. That was some good fucking comedic timing right there. Psychic Droner? This is some Command and Conquer Red Alert Yuri crap. Oh, great. And there's another auto mortar. Has it got a mortar shield? Mech drop beacon. No more shields, though. We don't have any shells, so take that as you will. I need a break. I think, I think there's enough room for today because I'm going to have an aneurysm. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. This has been... Horrible. Absolutely horrible, by the way. Um, yikes. Let's give a shout out to our insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible in the first place, for better or for worse. A big shout out goes out to Vlad Redeem, Paul, Somnus, Cyric313, Shea, Monkey, Slippinips, Jonah Waters, Sarabi, Justin Wallace, Chesty, Skaz, James, Shea, Huey Longdong, Nostrus, and Peyton Denisar, and of course everyone else at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon. Big shout out to these guys. Thank you all for making the channel possible in the first place. It's much appreciated. Thank you. And a thank you as well. It goes out to Wilson Atef, Ryan Hooper, Munda Difflin, Gothamosh, Fat Joe, Is a Toe, You're Under Breeze, Organized Confusion, Soycrates, Super Nanny 089, Tempe, Jackson P, Tiger Rifter, Calron24, Justin Plock, Ben Taylor, and Attila2. Thank you all for your support. See you guys all tomorrow for some more Rimmob. Oh, and also I'm playing games on the second channel if that interests you as well.